At the end of the stream, I asked you guys to submit your best Wonder Kid ever in the Discord. And I've brought my friend Dr. Benji. We're going to sit here and we're going to rate him. The first one is from Ban Hammer, which might be an app name. Do you think we should ban them if this is not a good Wonder Kid? Yeah, I think I think any Wonder Kid that's not up to par that we just, yeah, rid, rid of them forever. Not allowed to comment on videos, not allowed to be part of streams, removed from the Discord. So good luck, viewers. I hope it doesn't suck or you'll never be able to be here again. And they get to watch from the outside, like a behind the gate post, don't they? In a way, it's cool. No one else is doing that. So. <laughs> We have Andre Luiz, the center midfielder. Now, this guy is, he, honestly, I feel like he's the type of person that is built for FM22. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, he's big, he's powerful, he's strong. He does all that, he's, he works hard. I hate every bit of him. So. <laughs> this is how you're he's a very athletic central midfielder. Center mid on attack is like the dream boat of all FM. I mean, it's literally my entire FM22 tactic is center mids on attack. What, um, what role would you give him? Is it is it obviously a ball winning midfielder? Because I feel like he hasn't got the dribbling ability or the, not necessarily bravery, but he hasn't got some of the attributes you would need. Like the passing's a little lower, physically very good. I don't know, but not, not necessarily the aggression or the anticipation. He's a strange player. He is. He's a strange player. If you have nobody better for it, he's a center mid on attack because of his ability to work hard, his ability to run. Like him just making runs at the back line. Wow when I snap it echoes incredibly. The echo is here because we're painting this room on Thursday, but you know, Dr. Benji's got a very busy schedule, so we wanted to record this today. But if you say anything about the echoes in the comments, I will find you and I will. When you say we're painting it, I'm not painting it, am I? But he's also a left foot dominant midfielder, which always makes me a little uncomfortable because I feel like you kind of have to baby those guys a little more. I that, that That's just a me thing, but the jumping reach, the size, the athleticism, I think center mid on attack or if your team is better, this is a ball winner, for sure. Or, or, or box to box, right? Box to box as well, runs the ball, runs the ball through he, center. He can't pass. All those things. He can't no, pass. It's, and, that, and that is arguably why I hate him. If you have him on finisher as well, right? Like not as a finisher, sorry, as a, as a CM attack, and he's in areas mm. where you can score goals. CM mm. attacks are in that position a lot. He's not good at that either. Bravery no. again, determination. There's a, there's a lack of something in there, but he's undoubtedly really good. Could you change him into a different role entirely? Probably not. It's very difficult. What about left back? Oh yeah, I was gonna say left back, just a full back on support or something. Yeah. So he's not venturing forward too much, but he seems far better for that type of job. Yeah, because he's not gonna be asked to pass as much. Still has the ability to control the ball. Nice technique for those cross field deliveries that he'd be mm. received. I think full back. So we're gonna rate this on a scale of one out of 10. One being actually the worst wonder kid you've ever seen in 10 being the tap-in merchant himself, Erling Holland. Okay, I've heard, I've heard of him. That's impressive. You are a pundit now, uh, after all. As, as a Mazala, I rate him at like a two. But as a left back, I think he's like a like an eight. An eight? Yeah, as a left back. I, I was just gonna give I was gonna give this guy a six out of ten. He's not amazing, but but he could be. He could be. I think at left back, you know, get into that potential a little more. Only twenty years old. There's a yeah, chance here. There's a chance here. Yeah, move him. Don't, I don't want to see him ever in central midfield. Are we banning Banhammer for that? Uh, it was, the irony would be perfect, but no. I think as long as, he, again, <laughs> as long as he plays him at left back, I'm going to add a final mm. thing in there. As long as he plays him at left back, everything is fine. So that's fine. That's good. Play him at left back. If you want me to get rid of the echo, then subscribe. Every subscription goes towards fighting the echo. The second one we've had submitted comes from Sir Rowan, and it says next to it, surely I get bonus points for the name. And that's because the name is Nathan Simcock. Now, Nathan, um, <laughs> you are filth, whoever you are. So making us aware of that, because he's got a core. We've all seen it. I won't, don't have to say what. <laughs> very rude. You're a very rude boy. Sorry, Gonzin. I love how they took this screenshot with Twitch up in the background and with me live on Twitch. You can That's see it in the background on the left. And that is at least a five. He knew straight away. He was like, I will not be getting banned for any of anything. Yeah, that's the work. Well done. But then he's given us Nathan, Nathan Simcock and made a crude joke. Does he lose points for that? I wouldn't say so. As for the player, this is a better version of the player that we just looked at. This is a Mazala Zealand. This is a, this is a Mazala. I like it. What's, what's, not like to, what's not to like? What's not to like? I don't know, 10 jumping reach, seven long throws is pretty bad. Oh, don't worry about those things. Again, he can run, can pass, technique's very good. Agility's excellent, balance excellent. I love him, yeah. Good, better put him in the team. The hidden gem here, there's two hidden gems for me. 18 okay. decisions makes this guy a, an elite playmaker. And 18 off the ball makes this guy an elite mm. third runner. Whether it's a shadow striker, a center mid on attack or whatever, this guy not only is athletic, but knows how to run, when to make the runs and how to get open. But the, yeah. oh, 
I love this guy. I'm going to give this guy a very, a very high rating. He's evasive. His immediate handling like style, that. which is like huge like professionalism. No one's ever described me as evasive. I don't think I've ever been. Have you ever been evasive? <laughs> I can, like, if I'm sort of, oh, no, right. that's, the, that's the most evasive I've ever been, viewers. So you, that, you got to witness that live. That was fun. I, got, I had a pretty I good agility rating when I was in high school, I think. Oh, based on what I just did, my, at least a 19. So yeah, I'll go with that <laughs> as well. Uh, no, I like him. Everything about him, very, very good. Light-hearted personality. That's the only negative for me. Mm. But the, the evasive is an indicator of like that professionalism's there. I just, it must be like one below where it would set the personality. Regardless, guy's worth $140 million. I'm going nine and a half out of 10. I love that. Yeah. If you if you can pass like this and you can finish like that while being able to run like that and not being an idiot, you're amazing. Yeah, I like him a lot. I'd, I'd go, I'd say nine and a half. Mm -hmm. I'll go nine. I'll keep my <sighs> nine and a half. I, I feel like once you give him one rating, you can't give it again. That should be a new rule. Really? So you're keeping, you, you feel like you're going to need your nine and a half later? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. If not, then your viewers have let us all down. So <laughs> let's hope so. You know, one thing all these wonder kids have in common, they're all well-groomed. Thanks to our longtime sponsor, Manscaped. The smooth summer is coming to an end, but you should still get Manscaped because fresh ball fall is coming up. And we're not just talking about the World Cup here. Over 6 million men worldwide trust Manscaped then you can get free shipping worldwide 20% off with code Zealand at the link at the top of the description. The main thing you should get is this right here. This is the Performance Package 4.0. It's the one that I have. And I'm essentially a bear. So if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. It comes with a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. It also comes with the weed whacker for nose and ear hair. It even comes with a travel bag and a pair of very comfortable boxer briefs. The lawnmower's got skin safe technology. It's got an LED light so you can see where you're aiming. Avoid that. And it can all be yours for 20% off and free shipping at the link at the top of the description. Or you just head to the website and use code Zealand. Well, let's see what they've written for me this time. <clears throat> Keep things smooth and fresh, as we can say sayonara to smooth ball summer and in her fresh ball fall. And we thank them for making sure all of our wonder kids are clean cut. And who's the next one? The next one we have is Nico's Zach 777, who has given us striker Juan Chavez. And you've already made the noise. This is an advanced forward of advanced forwards. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned the match engine before. I feel like he's not particularly tall. He doesn't have good jumping reach and his heading's not great. But, so does that matter? How much are you no. bothered by that in this year's match engine? Oh, because he's fast. On center mids, it really matters for me. But on advanced forwards, it doesn't. It's weird. Because if you just put low crosses on, then oh, this guy's negative is not an issue. The first touch finishing, I mean, it's like he is tapping Aldo. Yeah. As, as a wonder kid, because he's 19, so he's going to grow into an absolute machine because he's off the ball, he needs to go up a little bit for me. Just because he's not got that like electric pace. Mm -hmm. 14 on acceleration and in pace, which is pretty good. But he's not electric in those areas. Again, dribbling's okay. Aggression's not great, so you wouldn't play him as a pressing forward. So you're right. He's very much an advanced forward on the end of things. Is he arguably slightly better as a poacher again he's probably not quick enough to be a poacher and he, and he doesn't suit the football manager's 20, uh, 2022 match engine as well as some other strikers he's, he's i'm gonna go seven straight in at seven mm, i think the, the main issue that i'm finding here is that you can look at all of this but if you're going to be a guy that can't really pass and isn't particularly mm. tall you kind of need to be faster than this that's it like four, that's it. 14 pace and acceleration but, but here's the thing he has the potential where if you just put your training on quickness, That's he's it. probably 16s yep. and 17s by the time That's he develops. It. And then he's, yeah. as you said, a machine. So you you gave him what, a, a seven? It's a, it's a seven with the potential to be a lot higher. But mm. again, he's got to improve his quickness. Like you're finishing, he's taken care of. Some of his mental attributes are absolutely fine at this age as well. But you've got to get him quicker. Make him quicker. Right. Get him on I... roller skates. <laughs> Not on grass though. That probably isn't, I don't, I've never done that. Is that that can't be a good combination, can it? And roller skates on grass? I feel like that would no. make you slower. I'm also going to do something that makes me feel like I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to agree with you and give this guy a seven. Yes. But we've used <laughs> our seven now, so bear that in mind. I didn't know that was part of the game. Next up is Reaver, R-I-E-V-E-R, -E -E for an Angolan on Bayern Munich that apparently it is impossible to zoom in on. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> what is that, what? dude? Why did it What just... is happening now? I don't know. So this guy's Rui Sardinia of Angola, 16 caps at 20 years old. We've got another forward player, kind of a natural shadow striker. Athleticism, the holy trinity, some ability to pass. What are your, but, but no noises of like excitement from Ben. So what are your thoughts? No, actually at 20, forever he is, that, I think this is the best version of him you're probably going to get. You look at his ability uh, and his potential. If this is it, then 
I'm a bit underwhelmed because I feel like, again, he's not going to get much better than this. There's some really nice attributes in there again. The pace that was lacking on the last guy, this guy's taken it from him. But can you make this guy any better from here? I think the balance is a bit of a concern. You end up with like a Christian Pulisic type player here, somebody that falls over a lot, even though they change directions well. I, th I think his problem is he's not a goal scorer like pure and simple no. he's not at a world class level he's not a playmaker i honestly i wouldn't be opposed to something like a box to box player here but you can't do that because he's so bad at defense so this just has yeah. to be he, he, uh, best teams in the world can't start this guy i don't think no i think you're right uh, the, the amount of letters in his name it looks perfect for an anagram so i spent a lot of this player looking for an anagram <laughs> but like there isn't a good one. Maybe, oh, what's that one? Uh, uh, Ruin had a years. That's not good. But years without an E and an A. No, I'm just, I, do you know what? Four. Not just because of the anagram, but for his general his general overview. I'm not, yeah, I don't know. I was, not, I was liking Rui Sardine. That's not how. <laughs> no, it's not okay. I've, I've, I've Googled anagrams. Oh. He's, he, he's, he's either footed though, Ben. You know what? I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a six and a half out of 10. I'm going to use my six and a half. I don't hate six this guy. Six and a half. That's very generous. That's very generous for a player that is, that, that's as good as he, you know, when he's, he could have done 29 year olds and he'd look like that. Yeah. Annoying. I think there's, I believe in Rui Sardines. Right. It's not, that's not an anagram. God, I'm just not a big fan of sardines today, whatever. So Sid got this guy for 700,000 at 17 years oh. old. Been a stalwart in the Quetta save. You gotta love a signing like that. And I'm gonna be honest, the attribute distribution is interesting for a complete forward. I like any 20 year old that's described as a stalwart. It's quite hard to be, that's very early in his career to be a stalwart. Uh, yeah, what's what's not not to like? He's, is he put sort of a, an Alexander Isaac? reincarnation it's not far off is he now it's 20 caps for sweden at 20 years old the issue i think is he doesn't have isaac's jumping reach but i love a player uh, this reminds me of a player i had in my save where you're looking at it and you're like okay so he's not a pure athlete he's not a pure playmaker he's just really smart and he's not bad at anything and i love that strength is also we've done those tests about like what attribute has the most impact just by itself mm. and strength always wins so the higher strength you have, just the more you're able to impact the game around you. So having 16 strength, I think, is a sneaky reason that I like this guy. Yeah, if his jumping reach was higher, you definitely consider him as a complete forward. But yeah, pressing forward all over, right? Great aggression. Work rate could be a little bit higher, but again, really good heading ability. Just the eventually strength as well. Anticipation's really good. Again, for a pressing player, you probably have him alongside someone else. I always find pressing forwards to be better when they're played with someone else who's striking. So if you have the last guy that I was appalled by, but teaming with this guy, <laughs> we've got a really good partnership there. I think this is the type of guy, he's 20 years old, so he's going to grow a little, but I don't think there's a ton of growth left. Yeah. Uh, this, this is the type of guy, in my opinion, you can build a save around. I think his, his physical stuff is going to get up to 16s. I I wish I hadn't. I, oh, I have no oh, idea. I have no, I have no idea what I'm going to get for this. Zero idea. Can I try Can I help? Susceptible to injuries. You can see it on his uh, cons. He also has a competitive mm -hmm. streak. He's a little edgy. I don't mind that, though. That's good. I feel like I've got a competitive streak in a way. I'm a little oh, edgy. Yeah. Do you pick up a few too many red cards? I don't get any cards. Um, like, oh, sorry, you meant you're on a football pitch. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, no, no I, I never got sent off when I played, fortunately. Few, few well, we both played goalkeeper. It's kind of hard to pull that off. Though. No, I did for a bit. You've seen the clip. Run it. Oh, oh, good to run that there. But, uh, yeah. No, I, I also played. I played them as, as a midfielder for most of my career. Uh, you, you, most of my career. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I played in the church league. My mom brought orange slices. Were you always the victor? Victor? Oh, whatever. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Based off my past experience with intelligence strikers, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a seven and a half. But I feel like I'm living in the same realm I have been. Last couple, he's better than the last guy. Definitely better than the last guy. He's, yeah, I would definitely play. If I had another striker that was maybe a little bit quicker, then I would definitely put him next to him again. He's got all the intelligence of someone that could be a great pressing forward. I don't know. 7.4? I feel like I'm breaking the rules by just doing it. Well, I can guarantee you're not going to try and pick that one again. So, well, I've got to be. I've got a lot of wiggle room there. So if I could, I could go for any point. Um, so yeah, I'll go. No, you know what? Have I said eight yet? Maybe go an eight. Oh, really? All the way up to an eight on this guy. I love pressing. For, I love this sort of pressing forward mm. and not a physical. Other than other than jumping reach not a physical under 15 like and he's only 20 he's gonna be great all right next up is hosty who actually subscribed on the twitch stream today so thank you here you are neil parr who is another striker but this one with 17 strength but also kind of worse and not as do you still love this person you seem to love these types of players five <laughs>
because <laughs> because he's not he's, he's basically as you sort of signed off a minute ago he's a little bit younger but he's not quite the pressing forward that i really like again lacking mm. the, the anticipation the aggression and again the pace is a bit of a problem natural fitness of seven worries me um and right. susceptible to injuries i mean you should be an ambulance ready for this guy all the time not not as technical um not as smart as the other guy i'm gonna no. go five and a half just because i like being the optimistic one that's good well you, i think the accent gives that away but yeah good like that. and next we have belisarius who's got yens fetzer who is a ball playing defender Whew. is he tall enough that's my first my first thing I need what to you, figure it out. You, I can't. You, he's got 18 jumping reach. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But is he tall? I'm thinking about the squad photo. Is he tall? Six foot one. Is he on the back row? But he has 18 jumping reach. We've tested this. It doesn't is matter. He captain. He might be captain. So in fairness, he can sit at the front anyway. So it's not as so, important. So we're fine. Yeah, he's got he's got the 17 leadership. He has the 18 positioning. Yeah. Everything mentally. Like every time I look at a center back, I just look at the top half of the mental stuff it's all there yeah the only concern is the strength and he is 21 so he, that might not come in but yeah everything is great so like i don't i don't really see a flaw in him again he's only 21 so things like composure concentration decision making will all go up as well i'd love to see this guy at 30. that'd be really cool mm. i'd love to see how he become like if he becomes so much better than this and again if those mental attributes improve or if again this is kind of where he sits he's unflappable zealand and so are you that's good though he's professional he's unflappable it's all exactly what you need big fan big big fan so i'm going nine i love this guy i but the strength uh, does concern me i mean that is kind of a key attribute it is very important for what we're trying to do here at central defense i was saving my nine and a half and i nearly i nearly went lower because he's using your skin but nine and a half <laughs> we'll give him the nine and a half harsh no, no, nine and a half skids oh you meant the skin thing yeah the skin thing now we go to Triel, who's at Wolfsburger for a Brazilian, and um, I'm just going to tell you right now, this is my first 10. This guy's unstoppable. He's, unsta he's unstoppable. This guy's unstoppable with the ball. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a 10. We asked for Wonder Kids. We were given Wonder Kids. Do we knock a point <laughs> off, though? Because he's 23. Are you still a Ooh, I guess you're technically yeah. You're yeah. just a wonder kid at 23. I, I think, think it you're counts. Just about. I, I count it because it's like a new gym. You know what I mean? It's it's somebody that yeah. was a wonder kid that came through the game. I don't even care if they're 30, right? Because they're a new gym that came into the game and they're there. The 20 flair, 19. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They can't be 30. Yeah. If they're in a wonder kid video. No, 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 no. Don't be dumb. If they're in new gym, dark. I think they can be 30 because then oh, they were. No one... rules thing. They might as well be an F1 driver as well. Oh, well, <laughs> what? You want. You want? You really want me to bring Jack here now? Obviously not. I'm only here because he's not. Like, oh. He's a ten. In summary, he's, he's a he's, ten. He's a ten. He's incredible. But yeah, to me, look, I get it. Anywhere. He's he's not a great finisher. He's a very good playmaker, but not like an elite all-time playmaker. His flair, dribbling, acceleration, agility, balance, and pace, like all combined, might be the highest added total in the entire world between those attributes. Yeah, it's very good. Would you play him? Could you, could you play him off the left as well? I would. If you're playing a 4-3-3 with like without an attacking midfielder, because of his pace and his dribbling, would you have him even higher? Or would you put him as a shallow striker? No, I, I, think, I think an inside forward works fine because then he gets into dangerous positions. He either makes the pass or uses his 19 off the ball to just wreak havoc. I would just throw him right in there. Yeah, he's he's Mbappe with passing. <laughs> he is, he is he's Mbappe with passing. Uh, but not the finishing. Uh, no. Well, the penalty attribute is accurate. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Don't put him on penalties. And leadership as well. He could never run PSG. Sorry, be a player at PSG. Sorry. <laughs> is that lawyers? Well, yeah, lawyers? Well, hey, look, that's why we have the other guy. We have that center back with the 17 leadership. They're on the same team. It's fine. How how tall is that? Uh, Sorry. Oh, he's very short. He's 5 foot 2.8 or well, 5 foot uh, 5.28. That's it. Well, jumping reach of three. Well, we should have spotted that before. <laughs> oh, now. he's still a he's still a ten. He's a crazy good player, but he is alarmingly diminutive. Engine. Yeah, I want to I want to see him in the match engine too. He's gonna be ID'd forever. Because he's well. Can you imagine how freaking hard he is to stop? He's just running between yeah. people's legs the whole time. But also, and he's never gonna be on nights out, is he? Because he's never. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna serve. Not gonna, <laughs> what's his name? Fabio. Fabio's never getting in. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about that. He's, he's, he's good as gold. Media friendly as well. Chatty. Affable. I, lot, lots, lots of likes. Subscribe to Dr. Benji. You have it already. It's, it, I'm done. I can't. I can't anymore. I, can't. I, I do football videos now until FM23. So I, I review the Premier League every week. If you want to watch us keep doing this, even though I can't emotionally handle it after that mental image, we the, here is another 
video of us rating your wonder kids in football manager so do check that out i'll see you soon